Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Cinnamon Stitches. I'm your unboxing host, Jennifer. <laughs> I got a big box here. I got a big box here from Mary Maxim. It's two days in this week that we are showing Mary Maxim. On Wednesday's video, I showed you all this yarn that I purchased with my own little funds. For my own little funds. <laughs> but um, after I ordered that, I got, a, I got a wonderful email from Mary Maxim and they're like, hey, we're doing this amazing giveaway on our, um, it's on their YouTube channel, I think, but the, it's part of their, their mystery bags. And they're like, we would like to send you a mystery bag. And maybe if you can, like, join in on the make along, which is like, I'm thinking about doing it. <laughs> Shit, if not, you know, here's some fun yarns. Um, I did not pay for any of these yarns. And Mary Maxim did not ask me to show any of these yarns on my page, but I'm going to show them because it's an unboxing and that's a lot of fun. Um, this is not, this wasn't planned. So she said, hey, I'm gonna send you some yarns. And it was, I, okay, the way it happened was, I placed the order for that beautiful bag of goodiness that I showed you guys on Wednesdays. And I got an email the following day that they wanted to send me a mystery bag and if there was any other yarns that I wanted to try. And I was like, you know, cool. I, like, you send me a mystery bag. I didn't ask for any of these other yarns, um, but she threw extras in for me to try and to play with. And then she told me that she really likes my reviews because they are um, not always flattering. <laughs> Which I think was a compliment. Um, my reviews are honest. They are honest and they always will be honest. And I like that the companies that I work with know that. That is the first thing that I tell them when I am doing any agreeing to getting yarn. I'm like, hey, I will absolutely show this yarn, but it's gonna be an honest review. And I start with that. And if you can't accept honest, like I just can't work with your company. And that's why I have cut ties with some companies because they want me to sugarcoat and I'm not a candy man. <laughs> so with that being said, this yarn I did not pay for. It was a gift from Mary Maxim with, she did not give me any strings attached to it. She didn't say she wanted me to show it. Um, I know that they appreciate the reviews, but like she just sent me yarn. And so like, I'm very happy. <laughs> and when I opened, I could not believe, first of all, this is a huge box. It's a big box. And she said she wanted me to try out some of their new yarns because they have a lot of new yarns since the last time I ordered. I showed you some of the ones I personally picked out in this beautiful bag. <laughs> and these yarns will be showing up again for reviews in the future. And then she sent me some other of their new yarns that I'm kind of excited to show you. And she also sent me a mystery bag. So I'm going to pull out the mystery bag first. I'm gonna move the box back here. And we'll show you. We'll start with a mystery bag. Because this is what she told me she was sending me. So the mystery bag, I've ordered the mystery bag from Mary Maxim plenty of times. I like the mystery bags. I think the mystery bags are very good value for what you're paying. These are $29.99. And sometimes you can use coupons on them to get an even bigger discount. And something new that Mary Maxim started that I discovered when I placed my order that I paid for was that if you spend, I forget how much the amount was. I think it's 35, I could be wrong, don't quote me on that. If you spend like so much money, you get like $5 store credit back to spend on your next purchase automatically, which is fantastic. But with your orders, they also um, send coupons, like five off of, let me see. I know that I had it, I had it. I think it's like five off of 10 or something. They always send it, it's like on a card like this and it comes in here and I don't know what I did with it. Here it is, it's right here. So they send you this little thing showing you some of their products. And then right here, under my fingers, is a code for a coupon that says $5 off your order of $10 or more. That is always included with the orders. 
Oh my god, aren't these the cutest? I wish I was better at Amigurumi to do stuff like that. Or that he's so cute. He's so cute. So, <laughs> that is always included. Now, I don't know the price of a lot of these yarns, but I do know the price of the... The mystery bag, this mystery bag retails for $29.99, which I think I already told you. But also, if you place orders and you can get coupons, you can save a couple of dollars, even off of the $30. But for the $30, you're getting a lot of yarn. These are all Karen Simply Soft. And there's eight of them. Okay? So that's a good deal. <laughs> now, I'm going to open this up. There's a couple of things going on with this mystery bag right now. Um, one of the things that is going on with the mystery bag right now is they are doing a November mystery box giveaway. And they include this. And this is not any information that Mary Maxim has given to me. This is information that I've seen on their um, YouTube videos. And I read the flyer. <laughs> So they're doing a mystery box giveaway. It says you have been entered just by getting the mystery bag. You you are automatically entered to win one of five $100 Mary Maxim gift cards in our November mystery box giveaway. So if you buy a Mary Maxim mystery bag for $30, $29.99, um, that does not include shipping, I don't believe. I think shipping is extra. Um, Visit the November Mystery Box giveaway page for more information on the make-along games and additional prizes. Winners will be selected December 6, 2022. Um, they are having both a knit-along and a crochet-along that goes with the mystery bag on their YouTube channel. So it's a free tutorial pattern. I've already watched both of the videos. I also watched the giveaway video. Um... Winners will be contacted by phone and or email, drawing by random selection held on December 6th. One entry per mystery box purchase place. So, um, I th the way I'm reading that is every time you purchase a mystery yarn box, you have an entry. Uh, yeah. So, there's that. Like I said, they have a make-along and a crochet-along going along with this, this kit. They also always include patterns, but on here is QR codes to bonus patterns on their website. So I, you can just scan that with your phone camera and it will take you to the website of all the free patterns that are available to you. There are a lot on Mary Maxim's website. A lot. So they gave me a... Karen United Basket Weave Afghan Knit tutor or Pattern and then a Toddler Hoodie from Bernat Crochet. They always send patterns. I have lots of patterns from Mary Maxim. Now, let's get into what is in the mystery bag. Now, the make-along that they are doing... This is so pretty. The make-along that they are doing... <laughs> the knit along and the crochet along on their YouTube, which you can watch the videos for free without ordering the mystery bag. But they're using this yarn that I showed you guys the other day that I ordered in purple, red, and blue. And they sent me the silver, which is very, very pretty. This is Mary Maxim Glimmer. There are two balls in the mystery bag. And I'm thinking that these are guaranteed to be in all of the mystery bags. These retail for... Let me see what I paid for them. Where's my other receipt? Because I actually paid for some of these in my order. Because when I saw these on the Mary Maxim video, I was like, okay, I want those, but I want to pick the colors. And I had no idea this was coming when I placed the order. So these retail for $2.99. And they are so super sparkly. Beautiful. And there's going to be a knit along and a crochet along with these yarns. So beautiful silver and now I have the silver and the ones that I ordered was navy blue royal purple and red and all of which will go with that beautiful silvery color what color is this okay the label says baby blue <laughs> that's not baby blue it's very gray and silver 
So, uh, whatever. They're mislabeled. They're both mislabeled. It doesn't matter. So, there's two of those in here. And then there is some Peyton's Hempster yarn, which is 55% hemp, 45% cotton. This feels like a linen yarn. It feels very waxy and yucky. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of Peyton's yarn, period. Um, and I don't like hemp yarn. So, this is not my favorite. But um, I know that there's uses for this. I can make handbags and I can make lots of like hardworking things because hemp is supposed to be very structurally sound. And so this is 190 yards, made in China. The color is pewter. It's a lightweight number three, but it looks more of a sport weight. Uh, the washing instructions is in the reverse of the label. So we got name brand Peyton's Hempster. Don't like the Hempster a whole lot, but that's fine. And I also do not like this yarn. <laughs> I don't like the way it feels. <laughs> this, <laughs> this yarn is asshole. <laughs> it is by Gina. Um, I've gotten a lot of yarn from Gina in the mystery. <coughs> the mystery boxes from Mary Maxim. I've also gotten some of the Gina yarn in their um, crochet kits and their knit clubs because they have a monthly knit club and a monthly crochet club which I think is also a very good value for what you're getting. You get a pattern you get enough yarn to make the pattern and it's fun because it's like a mystery bag every month and I did participate in it in the past and I got lots of boxes but it added up so fast that I had to stop my subscription because I got too much too much yarn stacking up <laughs> you guys know so this is very unique i just don't personally like the feel of this yarn it is um 30 percent mohair look so faux mohair i think 40 percent silk look and 30 percent premium acrylic it is a 50 gram ball 350 meters it's just like a creamy white color. It's very fuzzy and um, I just, I don't like mohair. I like some faux mohair yarns. I don't like the way this feels. So I'm probably going to either donate this or pass it along to someone else that can use it um, along with the hamster. But does that make this a crappy bag? No, I really like what else is in the bag. There's some good stuff in here. So we got Burnett and I love Burnett. Burnett is not easy to find where I live. In Michigan, Burnett is everywhere. In Virginia, like it's hard for me in my area specifically to find Burnett. So when I come across it, I'm very happy. I mean, I can get this at Joann's, but I don't shop at Joann's that often. So this is Burnett Softy Baby Cotton. It is in the color Granny Smith, as in a Granny Smith apple. It's very pretty and very limey, greeny. Um. Lightweight number three, 60% of cotton, 40% acrylic. It feels really nice. And I really like Burnett, so I'm happy with that. And I really like this color because, like, it's bright, it's bold, it's pretty. And then there is a Red Heart Croquette. I have a small collection of these. I love using Croquette held together with another yarn. So how you get this beautiful sparkliness, if you hold the Croquette, because it is a lightweight number one, if you hold that together with another yarn you will get a sparkle stream running through it. And so I collect these and use them, but I don't use them on their own. <coughs> Sorry. I use them as an add-in for yarn. <laughs> so, and I always try to catch these on a good deal. They are 1.5 ounces, 239 yards, a super fine number one, 92% cotton, 5% polyester, 3% other fibers. Uh, and it is a Red Heart product. And like I said, these go really good when you hold them together with another yarn. Because you get, I, I know that you guys can't see how sparkly that is, but the, these are really sparkly. So I really like these. And I like that the yarns are all kind of in a cohesive color. So we have neutrals, right? And then these are all Karen Simply Soft in neutrals. The only thing that stands out is the green, but I don't care about that. So these are, all that's left is eight balls of Karen Simply Soft Marled, which I love a good marled yarn. 
Karen Simply Soft is a good yarn and a lot of people love this for like baby products and baby dresses and stuff. Um, I find it a little bit splitty but it's still it's a it's a good yarn and it makes beautiful projects and I really like I said I really love marled yarns. This one is the colorway gray heather marled so it's got black white and gray marled in and there's one of those and then there's three in this color which is taupe marl and the taupe marl is a darker brown a lighter taupey beige and a white marled in together so three of those and then there's four in the colorway blush marl which has brown peach and cream which from a distance just looks kind of brownie, but like looking up there, it, there's definitely a peach strand running through. Very soft, very nice yarn to work with. So, now, I am going to share the love, okay? Because we have more yarn to show, but we're in the dead center of this video. So, if you love Karen Simply Soft... I am giving away eight balls of Karen Simply Soft. So if you want some Karen Simply Soft, make a comment. I'm probably gonna throw this white stuff in there too because I don't want it. And maybe even the hemp, we'll see. <laughs> um, I just want to pass on the love to you guys because Mary Maxim did not have to do any of this for me. I am gonna keep the sparkle in the green for myself and the croquette, but I'm definitely, we're gonna say right now just the Karen Simply Soft. So if you want to enter that giveaway, just put a comment below. I don't care what it says. Let me know. <laughs> if you don't want to be entered but you still want to comment, just say I'm not entering in the comment and we'll go from there. All right, so thank you Mary Maxim for helping me to give away some yarn on this channel. Karen Simply Soft. <laughs> all right, so next, these are all, we're, we still got yarns to show. We still got yarns to show. That's the only yarn that I'm giving up in the giveaway today right now, though, is the Karen Simply Soft Marled. Now, she sent me these. These are cool, and I already kind of have an idea what I want to... Ooh, that's softer than I thought it was going to be. I already have an idea of what I want to do with these. Now, this is Mary Maxim Home Yarn. It is a very bulky number five yarn. It is like a tube... It's like a tube with like stuffing inside. So this makes really good. It's way softer than I thought it was going to be. Looking at it, it looked like it was going to be rough, but this is not. This is generally marketed for like making pillows or stuff for like the house. You know, like home products. You could probably make a rug out of this. It is machine wash and cold water lay flat to dry. So I wouldn't suggest doing a rug. Made in Turkey, approximately 108 yards, 68% cotton, 32% polyamide. What I was thinking to do with this, what color is this one? This one's the color denim, but really this one should be called denim. What is this one called? Denim splash. And then sand. So she sent me three of those. What I was thinking about doing with this, and I think it will work. I'm not sure though because I've never worked with this kind of yarn. It is very much like a fabric tube with stuffing in the middle. Let's see if I get that. There's like stuffing in the center. Yeah. My actual stuffing is in the center. So what I was thinking about doing honestly is making a bag out of this. Like my um my my granny square bag tutorial that I made I was thinking about doing something like that because this is a bulky weight number five this is going to work up really really fast and I just think that this would make I think this would make you know what I kind of want to work up my swatch real quick because so I think this will make a good bag that's what I'm thinking anyway and if it doesn't make a good bag I'm definitely going to make some pillows out of this So, has anybody else ever worked with this kind of yarn? I 
it's sticking really hard to my hook. <laughs> it's like causing some friction. I just want to see what this feels like worked up real quick. If you don't mind waiting. I think the school bus is going to be here any minute. So if there's noise during this video of a loud door crashing and a little man coming in, it's because he came home from school. Alright, so... I made a little square. I just wanted to feel... This is very squishy. Actually, I made a triangle, not a square. <laughs> it's fine. It's all good. It's very squishy. Um, I think this would make a really good like bag, but I'm I'm now I'm questioning because it's so squishy. I don't know. I definitely want to play with it. It's not as I mean, it's as thick as ribbon yarn, but it's not as hard. It's like very soft. It's not as dense as ribbon yarn. So that'll be fun to play with. And that's something I would not have ordered for myself because I didn't think it would be so as soft. Like it feels like a t-shirt. It feels like a t-shirt. Um, the wrapping on the outside feels like a t-shirt material with stuffing inside. So that's kind of cool. I thought it was gonna be rough. Moving along. Then you guys saw this yarn because I ordered one of these. In Wednesday's video, this is the Mary Maxim Purely Soft that I told you reminds me a lot of um, the Huga yarn. And I think the Huga yarn is like $8 at some places. And this I think is $6.99. Let me check my receipt. What is this called again? Purely Soft. $6.99. And it's so soft look at these colors though together the blues and the whites you see how soft that is it looks like huga <laughs> it's so soft and squishy so she sent me three of these um these again are 70 percent acrylic 30 percent polyamide they're a bulky number five this is the color sable this is the color ocean so that's like a cloudy day on the ocean and then she sent me creamy the, the blue and the white go so good these all three go together what color did i purchase you guys remember what color i purchased oh yeah oh yeah so i ordered silver wait do you guys see wait till you see Is that not beautiful? This is the one I picked out. These are the three she sent me. And with that glowy light coming through the window back there, it's so pretty. So Mary Maxim is killing it with some of these yarns, man. Purely soft. She ain't lying. It's pure, it's soft, it's delicious. That one's probably my favorite. I'm, I'm gonna be real. That one's probably my favorite. And that, I just wanna make something cozy to wrap up in with this. <sighs> and then last but not least and I was wondering because I just got done talking about ordering a rainbow for my shelf over there because I like having the rainbow of colors of yarn and she said she wanted to send me some of their Mellow Spun DK because I actually have some of their Mellow Spun DK I showed it a while ago when it first came out I bought some she sent me a rainbow of colors <laughs> so uh, this blew my mind. This made me so happy. So I'm going to open this and show you the colors. And I'm going to show you. I'm going to talk to you about the yarn and my impressions of this yarn. Yeah, this stuff feels nice. So we got a whole red, orange, yellow, green. <clears throat>
two blues. Purple. Pink. And whatever this color is. I don't know what you would classify this as. Okay, so. Mellow Spun DK is a fairly new, as far as I remember, is a fairly newish yarn from Mary Maxim. It feels very nice. Like, it feels like a good soft acrylic. It's a lightweight number three because it is Mellow Spun DK. <laughs> um, 284 yards, 100% acrylic, made in Turkey. This is Dusty Peach. This is Dusty Peach. So that kind of goes with the orangey tones. Kinda-ish. So, alright, we'll start with the red. And we'll go through the rainbow. <laughs> alright, so... Yeah, this is so soft. This is, I, it just feels nice. It feels nice. It's surprising that it feels so nice. So this one is the color berry. So it's like a raspberry burnt red color, like a burgundy. So there's that one. And then there is, <laughs> this one's called paprika. <laughs> so, to my baby sister, baby paprika. Oh, this one's for you. <laughs> it's like an orangey color. It's kind of a burnt orange. It's called paprika. That is just hilarious. All right, so we got berry and paprika. We have the dusty peach that I showed you, which definitely goes in the orange catalog. We have yellow chamomile. This would make such a beautiful sweater right like a rainbow sweater and then there is spring green this is not your traditional rainbow either it's like a i don't know i don't know what you would call this it's like an off rainbow rainbow but it's so pretty this one is the color corn flower right they did so good picking these colors for me <laughs> so excited oh i picked up a hook this one is the color Aquamarine. Orchid. And pink. <laughs> yeah, let's see if I can do this. I see my arms are big enough. So, a whole rainbow of colors. That's so cool. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? It's a rainbow! It's a rainbow. So these are gonna go into my rainbow shelf because they're so pretty and they're so soft. And like I said, I do have some of these. I believe, and correct me if I'm wrong, Mary Maxim, if you're watching, um, Me Mellow Spun DK used to come in a ball because I think the ones that I have are in a ball and then they upgraded it to the bigger size, which is the skein, right? I think so because I think I have some of the balls and I think I got the balls in the last mystery kit I'll have to watch my own video and see I think I got the balls the little donut shaped ones this is really soft really beautiful yarn so look forward to seeing this in an upcoming video too because I I want to do a review of this yarn but I really do think I want to make myself something out of this because it's 284 yards and there's one two three four five six seven eight nine there's nine balls so i think i could probably make myself a cardigan out of this and at the very least if i can't make the full cardigan because i wear 4x um i can always i know where to get more right <laughs> so thank you so much mary maxim for sending me this yarn in a way, they're kind of sponsoring this video. They did not ask anything of me for sending me this yarn. She just wanted me to try it out. And she wanted me to have a taste of some of the new yarns that they have to offer. And I was very touched that she reached out to me. Because like I said, when I place orders with these companies, I place them through my personal email. I don't use my business name. I don't want special treatment because I'm Cinnamon Stitches. I want to, when I give you a review that the company is treating me well, that you know that I'm just a regular customer. She may very well have recognized that this is Cinnamon Stitches. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But, um... Yeah, because she did send this to my home address. So I, I guess she knew it was me, but 
I don't know. It's kind of exciting. And I'm very, very grateful that they sent me this yarn. And I'm going to definitely be showing you it in the upcoming weeks. I I want to make something out of this. I want to compare this next to the Huga because I really think this will stand up very strong next to the Huga, the Purely Soft. And I really like the Mellow Spun. I like the way it feels. It feels very nice. I like the sparkly yarns that they have released. <laughs> and this one surprised me. The the Mary Maxim Home really surprised me with how it feels like a t-shirt. feels like t-shirt material. So we have so much, so much content coming up over the next couple of weeks. And I'm very excited to share these things with you. I have, I have so many projects in the works for <laughs> the upcoming season. Not just Christmas, but like winter and working with these amazing companies i'm such a lucky girl i'm such a lucky girl um i don't know thank you so much mary maxim for reaching out to me for sending me this amazing yarn and i don't know what i did to deserve it but i do appreciate it i will be giving honest reviews in the future um yeah so stay tuned for that and i'm gonna let you guys go once again thank you mary maxim Go ahead and thank Mary Maxim in the comments for us because they're providing all of us with more content for the coming year. And I really do appreciate the support for that. And um, yeah, don't forget to give a comment below if you want some of that Karen Simply Soft yarn that I will very gladly send to some of you guys. We are so, so close to reaching 30,000 subscribers. And when we hit 30,000 subscribers, I'm going to do another giveaway. <laughs> You might even see more Mary Maxim yarns featured in that giveaway. There might be Premier Yarns featured in that giveaway. I don't know what I'm doing yet, but um, we are very close to 30,000 subscribers. So spread the word. Tell people to subscribe. Tell people to come join. And um, the sooner we get to 30,000, the sooner we can have some more giveaways. But until then, comment below for that, that Karen Simply Soft. <laughs> and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.